okay so this video then is for the passengers we already did the operators it's for the passengers and no i got no drink with me here tonight uh, although it's uh it's gonna be a beautiful evening and uh but you know what it's uh 4 20 and uh i'm retired can you put two and two together oh freedom for passengers well, let me see how to phrase it. When I see a passenger running for the bus, when I was driving my bus, if I felt that I could safely stop and wait for them, I would. And uh, mostly it wasn't a set of rules, it was mostly common sense. If I, if they're on the other side of the street and I'm on a high frequency route and I think they're going to risk their life crossing the street just to catch my bus, I keep on going. There's always another one. And with your life, we don't know if we have an afterlife or not. We really don't know. You think you know, but we don't know. And, um, for passengers, please. If you're catching up to a bus and the bus is pulling away, let it go. Let it go. You know how many times I've been to accidents, major accidents, where passenger hits the side of the bus. The operator's looking at the opposing mirror. He's looking into what his traffic is merging into, or, or she. And that person hits the bus. Body rotates. You know, you come up to the bus and you hit the back door or something and... Your body rotates because the bus is leaving and you spin and usually spin in this direction and you know where your land where your head lands when you fall right before the rear tire and then pop you made a mess of yourself and I don't mean to make a joke out of it but it's happened on so many occasions let the bus go if the operator, the best thing you can do with the bus is pulling out, is don't bang on the bus. Look in the mirror and hopefully do some kind of gesture. Hopefully if the operator happens to get another look and he or she feels it's safe to stop and pick you up, they will. If not, don't risk your life. Okay? Don't risk your life. Um, bring back a... Uh, incident I had when I was still, uh, I was driving the bus. It was back in 86, 87, so I was working the board out of Central Division. I had a Route B going out to Key Biscayne in Cranford Park, and I was stopped on Brickle to make the left turn into the causeway, the Rickenbacker uh, causeway. And all of a sudden, I knock on the door. I'm on the left lane. Y'all know how that's like a three-way intersection. How busy that intersection is. And I hear a knock on the door. And I see this man trying to get on the bus. Older gentleman. You know what I did? I opened the door. As much as I hated this. As much as I wanted to scold him. I said, are you stupid or crazy or what? I opened the door. And then I'm in. And got him out of harm's way. A bus going the other way, or maybe going the same way as me on a different route or something, but another operator ratted me out. And uh, Superintendent uh, Handy uh, called me upstairs at Central. And he says they have this, that you picked up a passenger, blah, 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 and the whole details. And I said, yes, sir, I did. And he said, you did the right thing. Thank you. Common sense at that time told me, get that person out of harm's way. Now, going on this rant for the last third part of it. Um, people not behaving on the bus. I saw a video the other day of... Oh, this morning on YouTube, saw somebody making a fool of themselves on a bus. 
the way I handled it, if there were not a threat to other passengers, I would keep that bus in service and keep on going. Let them be as loud as they can. I had people that preached on the bus, had people that cussed. I mean, it's people that are mentally unstable off their medications or whatever, but as long as they don't threaten or cause a, a, a problem with another passenger, I keep on going. And they start fighting or something, you gotta stop. And you have, at that time you had a radio in. Now we all have cell phones. Now, what I would recommend, if you have a problem where it's life threatening, you stop the bus, get on the phone, dial 911, speak directly to that operator, the uh, phone operator, without a middleman, which is will be uh, uh, your radio dispatch system or bus traffic control, however you, however you all call it, and talk straight to that uh, that person and let that person hear what's going on in the background. They're shouting and all that. And believe me, they're going to let out the cavalry right away. When it's a second party calling in for you, it, it takes that sense of urgency and you're going to be put on a on a waiting list. If you happen to see any law enforcement officer, you flag them down. A lot of them stop right away, you know, and they can help you out. If you have a person that it's really gotten to you and it's pissing you off or you know i had a i i, I rarely let people get to me but they're, they're pissing you off or you can tell you're gonna have a bad trip because of it or whatever or my pet peeve anybody lit up on the bus and smoked that was my pet peeve then i would just instead of stopping the bus i would find me a, a police officer and says, please take this person off the bus. And, uh, well, first I tell them to get off the bus. Sometimes they got warrants on them and stuff like that, and they don't want it. They don't want to see law enforcement. They cuss you out and get off. But if not, I go get a police officer, get him off the bus. Then I'll call uh, radio dispatch, and I'll say, uh, I had someone on the bus that was misbehaving, but I resolved the problem. I had a police officer assist me. That's it. You're off the hook. You notified them of the problem. But if your life is ever threatened or the life of your passengers and you can safely get to your cell phone, talk directly to that uh, 911 operator. They'll, they can, they can, they'll feel the urgency of the call and they'll get you help right away. Tell them exactly where you're at. And um, if you feel you got to move, tell them I'll be moving slowly northbound on john street or whatever street and uh i feel if i stop they're gonna i'm gonna have a problem so i'm i'm, I'm gonna keep on going but i'll be going slowly my bus number is such and such and such and that's my advice for today happy 420 and uh it's good to be retired <laughs>